okay, this is Ruth Polly here and I wanted to do something new today. I'm going to share my testimony and I hope that it blesses you, blesses somebody out there. So I'm going to just touch on my childhood and I'm going to jump ahead. It's going to be a quick summary and so here I go. I was raised in, um, I just want to honor the Lord and my parents by saying I'm so, I was so grateful for the home that I was raised in and the, the childhood that I was given. My parents just modeled wonderful behaviors, they, kindness, they taught us kindness and my mom was very nurturing and it was a safe and loving home. They um, just opened up their hearts, they knew how to provide that kind of environment for uh, a child to grow up in and so I'm really grateful to my parents I'm grateful to the Lord for giving me my parents and that that home to grow up in so I am gonna jump ahead and you know many years I'm at 26 and I find myself living in in Texas and um, so I've graduated college and things just seem to be falling in place. I have, wherever I, I've been able to travel at this point, and so I've, wherever I move, I'm able to find community and friends and I'm, I'm just, I love my jobs. You know, I have a good job in business and I've always had this, this dream and this desire to help people. I was always involved in community service. It was probably just an aspect of, of how I was raised. It just um, came naturally and it was something that was very fulfilling to me and rewarding to help people. So I have jobs that I really like and um, I've accomplished a lot at this point, it feels like. And I began, I began to have these questions. So I'm living in Texas, I'm 26 years old and I start having questions in my heart that come up. And um, only the Lord knows and you know he put them there he's just positioned me for all these events to take place and I begin hearing about people going to church and being Christian and that's new that's new to me and I actually have a friend who's getting baptized and at this point and that is intriguing I've never heard of an adult getting baptized and I start asking my parents have I been baptized you know when I was a baby I wonder why people get baptized when they're older so um, this friend of mine was getting prayed for because um, there were friends that just said, "Let's let's let's pray for for you before you take this this step." And I I said I would go to this. Um, it was an apartment with people who were in love with the Lord. They were sold out. Their lifestyles were very different than anything I'd ever seen before, and. Um, it was just an amazing setup, an ambush of the Lord to answer these questions that he was putting in my heart. I may not journey with these people again, and they not, may not be the ones that are going to, you know, disciple me, but they were, they were put there that day to um, show me the radical love of the Lord and to, to share the love of Christ, to be a faithful witness. And so, um, I, you know, I was in this field of alternative medicine and I had this question of where does healing come from? You know, sometimes people get healed and sometimes they don't. And, um, they shared with me the Holy Spirit. That's where healing comes from. And, um, I'd always been spiritual and, uh, believed that there was a God, but I, I hadn't heard about the Holy Spirit and that's the one that I want to be connected to. So it was like this big light bulb. Oh, okay. Um, I'd heard about young adults giving themselves to prayer and worship and I one of the questions in my heart was like things around me I thought we get older and wiser but the world feels dark and I was getting discouraged and hearing about these these young adults giving themselves to prayer and worship 24/7 I mean it was just um oops, sorry about that it just uh, blew me away and I said this I said this is the light getting lighter um, and then lastly I had this I was seeking um, an understanding for why everything felt temporal you know these things I, I was achieving in life it, all of a sudden I came to that point of I'm not being satisfied there's something you know it's I'm satisfied and then it goes away it's, there's a temporalness um, that I'm feeling and I don't want to keep going after the next thing to be fulfilled It didn't feel right to like now I'm gonna get a husband and then I'm gonna want kids and then what's next? I just started feeling that um, 
that aspect of, of things being temporal and trying to satisfy something that a craving that wasn't being satisfied, that wasn't being met. And they told me about Jesus. And um, in this meeting, they said that he is the bridegroom God. And they asked me, they said, if you, if he invited you to be his bride, if he asked you to be his bride today, would you say yes? And I said, yes. And they said, can we pray for you? And they prayed for me. And it was um, a life-changing day. I will never be the same. I walked in dead and I walked out alive. I had no idea that I needed a, a saving relationship in my life like this to connect me to now my best friend and my forever faithful father. Um, there, he is the only place that can fill that longing within me that was created for him. I found the one my soul longs for. And I know that I don't want to put anything else in that place. I don't want to keep searching for the next thing to satisfy because only he can satisfy. And I want him to be first in my life. So I, I walked out just on fire for the Lord. There are some things that happened immediately that were just the supernatural shift in language in my life. Um, I was telling everyone that I could about Jesus and it just came very easy and natural to me. And and then there were some things that were gradual that I had to walk out and understand and I'm still in this journey of walking it out and it's the most glorious journey I could ever be on. And so um, there is my, my story. I think that every person has a story to tell for God's glory and I would love to hear it. If anyone wants to use this space to, to do a video of your testimony, it would be an honor to, to hear it. Um, you can comment more if you want more on on this kind of thing in the space. Type amen if you've been changed and transformed by the Lord or touched by his grace. Um, and I hope this blesses you and meets you today um, with, with joy and kindness in your heart. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.